you gotta stop clapping when the music goes off. You guys, what's up? Hi. Guys, I ate a banana today that made me feel really uncomfortable. I did. It was. It's like fuck. How do people do? I don't. You guys drinking? Of course, you have to buy two of them. Of course, you're fucking drinking. I uh, usually when I perform, I drink a Lindsay Lohan. I don't know if you guys know what a Lindsay Lohan is. A Lindsay Lohan is just a Shirley Temple, but with a lot of coke in it. Yeah. It's delicious. It's delicious. I'm just speaking about Coca-Cola. Unless you have some cocaine. I mean, hey. I, uh, I don't like going to the clubs. Um, because cause the DJs at the clubs are always so bossy. They always yell and shit for you to do. Like, I'll put your hands up. I'll put your hands up. You got a hundred dollar bill. Put your hands up. I'm like, no, I don't have a hundred dollar bill. But if I did, I'm not going to put my hands up. Because I'm not trying to get robbed in this club, Mr. DJ. And they always yell shit like this, who fucking the night? Who fucking the night? Who fucking the night? That is none of your goddamn business, Mr. DJ. I mean, maybe. I like when they yell that. All the guys are like, yeah, I'm fucking the night. All the girls are like, no, you're not. You took me to that comedy contest tonight. You're not fucking anything. I think if I was a DJ, though, I'd just yell random shit just to see if people were paying attention to me. Like, if you use the thimble in Monopoly, make some noise. Use the thimble in Monopoly, make some noise. You got change for 20, put your hands up. Who got change for 20, put their hands up. I got it to the valet who got change for 20. Fat people, I hear you breathing. Fat people, I make noise. A fat people, I hear you breathing. A fat people, I make noise. A fat people in the back, where you at? The two jumping jacks, the two jumping jacks, the two jumping jacks. I know you're tired. Me too, but keep going. We need them. If you text and drive and you still alive, let me hear you say, oh yeah. If you text and drive and you still alive, let me hear you say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys should probably cut that shit out. That's fucking dangerous. I'm gonna kill somebody. Where my cougar's at? Where my cougar? All right, get y'all old ass out this club. I like that name Cougar, it makes it want to sound anxiety, you call her a Cougar, like, ah. It's not nice to call her what she really is. You can't walk around calling people dirty, old, horny lady. That is not a nice thing to say. I was in Seattle, I told that joke, and this guy was like, yeah, where the Cougars at? I'm like, sorry, sir, all your Cougars are dead. You're 75 years old. These cougars be like 100. Making a girl squirt, um... It's not that cool when you only have one set of sheets. <laughs> it's not. You guys have children? You might have kids? Yeah? I mean, two, two I, I hate kids. I do. It makes my job kind of tough, too, because I, I teach a kindergarten class. Like, seriously, I sing a good morning song every morning. A good morning. This is my job. Everyone's like, why do you still teach? Because health insurance is important to me, that's why. And they don't drug test teachers. Because if they did, there would be no fucking teachers. You got to smoke the trees to teach the ABCs. But, but, but. I don't know if you guys ever hung around a five-year-old, but they never shut the fuck up. And they say whatever comes to their mind. I walked into class one day, they all were singing. Mr. Mateen has a chocolate face, a chocolate face, a chocolate face. I have a chocolate face. Oh, fuck you, assholes, okay? A chocolate face? That's, that's what you tell them? I like to teach my kids life lessons. Um, my biggest pet peeve is when kids tattletale on each other. Like, they, they always tattle. And this is one little boy, he's so persistent. And I used to say no one likes to tattletale, but he's like, Mr. Mateen, he touched my face. Mr. Mateen, he keeps poking me. Mr. Mateen, she stole my book. And I slipped one day. I was like, hey, man. Don't you know that snitches get stitches? <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, I just told a five-year-old that snitches get stitches. I'm gonna get a phone call. So this kid, mom comes in and she's pissed, guys. She's coming in, she's like, Mr. Mateen, Johnny's been saying some very colorful language at home. I wanna know, has he been saying it here? And I was like, I don't know. 
What has he been saying? She said, he told his sister yesterday that snitches get stitches. It's like, really? I've never heard that phrase a day in my life. Did he tell you where he got it from? She said, no, he wouldn't say. I win, guys. I win. Thank you. My name is Matisse Stewart. God bless.